If you are looking for a simple and cost effective way to host a simple static HTML website, then you might want to consider hosting it on a CDN. This video shows you how to host a static HTML website with Bunny CDN. Here are the website files on my local machine. An index.html file along with some images, CSS and JavaScript. This is how it looks when the index.html file is opened in the browser. If you don't have an account with Bunny CDN, you can create one. There is also a 14 day free trial. I already have an account, so I am logging in. This is how the dashboard looks like when you log in. I already have a few pull zones and storage zones. In order to host the site, first we need to create a storage zone. So go to storage, then click add storage zone. Give the storage zone a name. Here I am naming it as Coral Test Site. There are two types, standard and edge tire. Standard is enough. Then comes the storage region. I am going with the default option. Then enable geo replication. Select the regions you wish to enable from this list. Then click add storage zone. Okay, the storage zone is now created. A storage zone is a space where you can upload your files and folders. Currently there are no files in this zone. So let's upload our site files, starting with the index.html file. You can also use FTP or API to upload files and manage the zone. That might be convenient if you have large number of files to manage. But in this case, our site contains only a couple of files, so the graphical user interface is sufficient. Let me also upload the assets, CSS and JS folders one by one. For the files in a storage zone to be publicly available, you need to connect a pull zone CDN with it. So let's connect a pull zone. Go to connected pull zones. Then click connect pull zone. You can either add a new pull zone or connect an existing one. Let's create a new one. Set a name for the pull zone. Again, coral test site. So its public URL becomes coraltestsite.bcdn.net. Next is the origin type which is set to the storage zone. So whenever an HTTP request arrives at the pull zone, the corresponding file will be pulled from the storage zone. For a normal website CDN, the origin will be the website's URL. But in this case, the origin is the storage zone. Next, choose the tire as standard tire. Then below that, select all the regions you want. Then click add pull zone. Ok, the pull zone is created. Now you can add custom host name. That is a custom domain name associated with this pull zone. The default host name is coraltestsite.bcdn.net. If I open it, you can see that the website is already showing up. But we want to set up a custom domain name. So here is the domain name I plan to use coraltest.xyz which is registered with Namecheap. And for the DNS I am using Cloudflare name servers. Here I had already set up the domain name with Cloudflare. Currently it has no DNS records. We want the website to be accessible from both the root domain and www. So first add www.coraltest.xyz. Then it asks you to set a CNAME DNS record. This CNAME record points the domain name to the bunny URL. So back to Cloudflare. Add a new CNAME record, set the name as www, 
and the target value is the bunny url uncheck the proxy status then save the dns record we need to wait until the new dns record propagates we can check that with a tool like dns checker okay it looks like the new record has already propagated so we can continue click verify and activate ssl ssl verification was successful okay got it then click enable to obtain the certificate get a free certificate this will issue a let's encrypt certificate the ssl certificate is set up let me try loading the new domain name in the browser www.coraltestsite.xyz okay it's showing up add https in front of the domain name yes that's also working however if i remove the www part then it gives an error the site cannot be reached because the domain name is not set up so let's add that as well this time we need to add the apex domain name that is the root domain name like we did earlier we need to add a cname record for the root domain name as well according to dns standards you cannot add a cname record for the root domain name However, Cloudflare offers a feature called CNAME flattening which allows that. So we can add another CNAME record. Type CNAME. Enter at for the root. Enter target. Uncheck proxy status and save the record. You can notice a mark on the left side saying it's a flattened CNAME record. There is also a link to learn more about what CNAME flattening is. Unlike normal CNAME records, flattened CNAME records can take some more time to propagate. DNS checker is giving an error for that. So let's try it as a record. IP addresses are showing up which must be bunny IP addresses. So let me go back and try verifying. Verify and activate SSL. It looks like the propagation is not complete. So let me wait some more time. So skip verification for now and let's try after some time. After almost half an hour, click enable again. Get a certificate. Okay, this time it succeeded. But still it's not accessible from my location. So let's give it some more time. After about half an hour, the site started showing up. Now it can be accessed with either HTTP or HTTPS. It can also be accessed from either the root domain name or the www version. So next I want to do two things redirect http to https and also redirect non www to www in order to redirect http to https just enable the force ssl option against each of the host names okay now you can see that http is redirecting to https with a 301 permanent redirect status code. Next, let's redirect the root domain name to the www version. 
For that, go to Edge Rules, then click Add New Rule. Give a description text www redirect then select the action as redirect to url in the redirect url field set the target url that is https www.coraltest.xyz followed by the path variable within curly brackets now comes the conditions select request url match any All requests from the root domain should match. So https coraltest.xyz slash wildcard asterisk. Save the edge rule. Okay, now let's test. You can see that it automatically redirected to www. So that's how you host a static HTML website with Bernie CDN. Hope you learned something new today. Thanks for watching.